Welcome back. This week I'm pulling out some tools and taking you through servicing my generator. I'm going to do the fuel filter first um, because then I can prime it and run it for a bit to heat up the oil before I suck out the oil. And that way I just don't have to deal with running it twice and doing it after. So first I'll close the fuel shut off and then trim. spilling anything not in the oil pad. <sighs> Always check that the o-ring has actually come off with it because if you put the new one on with the oil ring it'll be it'll be pretty obvious though. Um, make sure you put some clean fuel around that o-ring. It doesn't need to be like, you know, cranked or anything, just hand tight. When I was apprenticing as a marine mechanic, the mechanic I was working with the first time we did a oil change and fuel filter change, it's like, okay, now put this fuel filter on. And like, I had never put a fuel filter on. And I started using a wrench to crank it on. And he was like, no, no, no. And we had to get another fuel filter because I had crunched it with the wrench. Like an idiot. But you know, you learn. Live and you learn. One part is, um, bleeding the air out now because there's air in the can so i'm going to open the fuel valve oh, i'm going to get some rags ready clean all right on top of the fuel filter is here this is the fuel vent so i'm going to crack that and then this is the lift pump, like a low pressure fuel pump. This one's gear driven. So when you crank the engine, it starts pumping it. You can also manually pump it here. These aren't always that efficient and you have to make sure you actually go all the way. Oh, I'm gonna try that. If that doesn't work, I can actually crank the engine without starting it. And um, it'll also turn the fuel pump and bleed the air out. Is that pump? Definitely feel leaking out. It's leaking out pretty steady. I don't actually see any air anymore, so I'm gonna close that up. Collect all this. Yeah, close that up. Tighten it up. Give her a go. You might hear the engine struggle like that a little bit. It's just a bit of air working itself through. If it continues to struggle like that, shut it off and try bleeding more all air right, out. So now fuel leaks. Run it for a bit. Got it all warmed up. While I get set up. Let the oil all kind of drain into the oil pan, and then in like 20 minutes or so, we'll start pumping it out. Okay, this is connected to the bottom of the oil pan, so this is where we'll suck our uh, oil out. This oil change kit, just an oil pump basically, in the um, engine room. Connect this to the engine for power, and yeah. Okay, like that. 
to the positive. And this can kind of go anywhere that's grounded, which is the whole engine block. This should work. Let's test it. Yep. So this um, generator takes about four liters, or no, three and a bit, three liters of oil, so this four liter jug will work for that oil. So this hose is specifically for draining the oil. It's connected to my oil pan. If you don't have a hose coming off your oil pan, you can put a smaller hose in the dipstick hole. See if I can keep that up while I put the oil in the engine. So I got three liters to put in. So is it right there on the cap? Three liters. Um, I guess I'll finish, make sure I've pumped everything out. Okay, finish this up. Yeah, just disconnecting the oil pump hose and then um, topping the oil up and then checking the level which involves just running it enough to get the uh, oil filter full and then call it a day. generator and I'll check all the filters are on tight, the caps on tight and everything looks good and there's no leaks and then I'll check the oil level again. Some clean looking oil between the lines where I want it. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was helpful. Stay tuned for more videos. We've just sailed from the Virgin Islands to Dominica and now we're exploring Dominica and soon we'll be on to St. Lucia. So stay tuned for videos of that. <laughs>